Hello and welcome to today's video. Today's video is 31 Days of Halloween. Day 2, Jar Jack-O-Lantern. I went ahead and got my supplies ready for this. So I have some polymer clay, my tools, and a small baby food jar that I'm going to use for the base of my jack-o'-lantern. So I'm going to soften up some of my orange clay and just kind of smooth that out into a basic shape for the top of the jack-o'-lantern. And then I'm going to use the jar to make kind of like a cookie cutter impression, but not all the way through. So I have the right size and shape and then I'll trim off the excess. Then I'm going to go ahead and put it on top of the jar and trim it down some more so it kind of has a curved top to it. So it matches the top of a jack-o'-lantern, at least the best it can for being on a jar. And then I'm going to get my edges really smooth and I'm going to use a toothbrush to texture it. I'm going to go ahead and set this aside and I'll soften up some more clay to put around the jar. Once I get this softened out, I'm going to go ahead and spread it out more. You could use a roller for this if you want, but I really like using my hands. But if you want it to be a little more even, you can use a roller. So once I have this stretched out into a nice size, a nice consistency, I'm going to go ahead and put it around my jar. You'll see a little bunch up there some, so you can cut off the excess and then bring that up. And just make sure your jar is completely covered. And I will go ahead and trim off the excess on the top and bring in, cover up any little gaps I had. So once this is nice and smooth and covered, I could go ahead and start adding some details. The first thing I want to do is use my needle tool to cut out the jack-o'-lantern's face. So I'm starting with the nose and that way I can kind of get an idea for placement for the eyes and the mouth. And I'm just doing a really basic jack-o'-lantern shape, but really you can get as detailed as you want with this. But I thought it'd be nice to just kind of have a traditional jack-o'-lantern with the triangle eyes and the nose and the, you know, kind of a smiling face a little bit with some teeth. So I just trim out that orange clay off of the jar and then I'll go in and start drawing out the mouth. Now one thing I do want to mention while I'm doing this is on the baby food jar when you take that label off it will be kind of sticky so you want to make sure to get as much if if possible get it all off of there that way you don't have any issues with the clay going over it and you don't have any issues when you bake it. Also, when you bake this, um, normally clay says to preheat the oven and then put it in, but I put it in while I'm preheating. Um, I did hear that with the glass, you want to make sure that you don't have those you know, extreme differences in temperatures or jumps in temperatures. So after texturing the pumpkin jar with my toothbrush like I did the top. I'm just going in and using my needle tool to add the lines. Now I want to go ahead and add the lines to the top too and I'm matching these up with the ones that I put on the base of it. That way it looks like it all goes together. I'm just going to touch up some of the texture, clean out that face a little bit, and it'll be ready to move on to the next step. Now one thing, when I'm switching colors, I do want to make sure I wash my hands so I don't have any pigment transfer. Now I'm going to make the little stem. So I'm just going to use some brown clay for the stem. You can use some green or green and brown together, whatever you want to do. Then I'm going to go ahead and texture that, place that in the center. And then I'm going to make a couple of leaves to go next to it. So once I've got this texture on here, I'm going to mix up a little bit of brown with a little bit of my green clay. And this will just give me a slightly darker green to use for my leaves. So I'm going to go ahead and shape out my leaf shape. I just kind of want to do a little bit of a teardrop with a little bit of an indention on the top there. And I'll go ahead and place that against that stem. Use my needle tool to draw the indentions in the leaf. Just give it a little bit of a texture to it. I'm going to go ahead and take a little more of that clay and add another leaf. Well, this leaf is going to be very similar. Now, I didn't do any research to see if these are traditional pumpkin leaves. 
I just wanted to put a couple leaves on the top here, just add a little more detail to the jack-o'-lantern jar. So once these are done, I can go ahead and take it upstairs to be baked. Now it's time to bake our clay. Remember, always bake your clay according to package instructions. And here is the finished jar jack-o'-lantern using a baby food jar and some Primo Sculpey. What's a lot of fun is you can take a bunch of different size jars and do this with it. So if you want to have kind of a pumpkin patch look and that way they're different sizes and they different, you can get different shapes, you can get taller ones and it just makes kind of an interesting Halloween display. So you'll notice here you can really get a good look at that texture on there. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I've done these in the past and it's always a fun little project to do. To do. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little LED in this guy and you can see how it looks lit up. Using a little LED really adds a lot to this. Now these are just battery operated LEDs. In fact, these the LEDs I use in my little jar pumpkins are left over from our wedding and to let you know, that was like nine over nine years ago, so they last a long time. Obviously, I don't have it going the whole all the time, but they do have some longevity to them. This one in particular actually had the little plastic flame removed, so it is a brighter LED, but it worked out really well in this jar pumpkin. I was really happy how this turned out. All right, well, thanks for watching, and remember, never stop creating. Bye! If you'd like a piece of your Halloween artwork featured in my final 31 Days of Halloween video, please hashtag Andrews 31 Days of Halloween 2019 on Instagram or email it to me at andrewschmettclaycreations at gmail.com. I will put this information down in the description box below so you don't have to copy it off of the screen. Uh, deadline for submissions is October 26th and one submission per artist.